Hi friends, it's Miss Anna. Today I'm going to do a few activities that are known as ECFE favorites at our school. These songs or finger plays might be new to you or they might be ones you've done lots of times, but they're fun. You can play while you're doing them and you can learn while doing them. The things I have to help me today are, I brought a baby doll because I don't have a child with me to help model some of the songs. I have a stuffed animal, so if you wanna grab a stuffed animal, that might help you with a few of the songs. I have a blanket that I can use. You could find a scarf or a blankie like that. And I have a shaker. Mine is called a maraca. If you have a maraca, you can get a shaker like that, or you can find anything that you can make a shaking sound with that the grown-ups say are, is okay to use. Um, you might be able to find something in your kitchen like that. So we can do a few shaking songs in a little bit. I'm going to start out doing a finger play. Finger plays are important in early childhood. They're repetitive, they have rhyme, they help teach language, and also hear the rhythm of words when you're saying finger plays. The one I'm going to start with is called open, shut them. So we're going to use our fingers. That's why it's called a finger play. Open up your hands, shut your hands. Open them, shut them. Okay, here goes the song. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them up. Creep them, creep them. Slowly creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in, you can hide them. Now we're going to roll them. Roll them, roll them, slowly roll them, roll them just like this. Wave them, wave them, quickly wave them, then we blow a kiss. Mwah! We do a lot of finger plays at circle time at ECFE school. Now we're going to do a body identification song. A lot of songs in ECFE talk about where different parts of the body are. And then we can learn those through song. So put your hands on your head. My head, now your shoulders. My shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. Let's all clap hands together. If you're a bigger kid, you can do these body parts uh, with your hands. But if you are a grown up and you are with a younger toddler or a baby, you can identify them for them. But now the trick is we go a little bit faster. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes, my head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes, my head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. Let's all clap hands together. You could keep on going and go faster and faster and see if you can do that and see if you can keep up with that song. We can talk about all different body parts if you sing different kinds of songs or replace those words in that song. Okay, now we're going to do a few shaker songs. Shakers are great because they support a sensory rich environment and they help kids learn how to express themselves. They can make up their own song. They can learn to keep rhythm just like language. So get your shaker or get your, your item that shakes, okay? You say, here we go, shake, shake, shake. Here we go, shake, shake, shake. Here we go, shake, shake, shake. Now we shake and stop. Now we wait until we hear the word go. So it's hard to wait sometimes. Wait, go. Here we go, shake, shake, shake. Here we go, shake, shake, shake. Here we go, shake, shake, shake. Now we shake and stop. Wait, go. Here we go, shake, shake, shake. Here we go, shake, shake, shake. Here we go, shake, shake, shake. Now we shake and stop. Shakers are another great way to do a body identification song. So we could say, put your shaker on your tummy, on your tummy. Put your shaker on your tummy, on your tummy. Put your shaker on your tummy, put your shaker on your tummy. And then maybe you want to teach a new body part, like 
Put your shaker on your wrist, on your wrist. Put your shaker on your wrist, on your wrist. Put your shaker on your wrist, on your wrist. Put your shaker on your wrist, put your shaker on your wrist. Put your shaker on your knee, on your knee. Put your shaker on your knee, on your knee. Put your shaker on your knee, on your knee. Put your shaker on your knee, put your shaker on your knee. Put your shaker on your lap, on your lap. We'll do some more shaker songs another time. Right now, I'm going to get out my bear. You could get out your stuffed animal or your baby doll. And I'm going to do bear songs. This really is ECFE favorites. A lot of kiddos sing these songs in our baby classes where we're teaching object permanence, meaning that the object still remains there even when the baby can't see it. Um, but then we go on to sing it in our toddler classes to, to teach repetition, to teach so that they know what the routine will be. They can predict those routines. We will sing that song each week. They know that that's coming. And sometimes we even bring them out as a treat in preschool or older toddler classes because kids remember doing the bear songs. So I'm going to take my blanket and cover up my bear today. But he's still there underneath. Can you cover up yours? We'll say... Where is Bear? Where is Bear? I can even see him peeking through a little there. Take it off. There he is. There he is. Now we say hi. Hello Bear. Hello Bear. Hide him again. Hide him again. Again. Where is Bear? Where is Bear? There she is, there she is. Hello bear, hello bear. Hide her again, hide her again. Now I'm going to sing a song with my blanket or with my scarf. You could even use a Kleenex, a tissue. We're gonna shake it. Here we <laughs> Sometimes even teachers forget the words to their songs. <laughs> Well, we'll shake our scarf another time. Let's give our bear a hug. This is the way we hug our bear, hug our bear, hug our bear. This is the way we hug our bear when we are in the circle or when we're at home. Actually, this is a good opportunity to show you that you can just make up any song you want to really accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. So if I want to shake the scarf and do a rhythm, I can make up my own song. Like this is the way we shake our scarf, shake our scarf, shake our scarf. Those aren't the real words to my shaking scarf song, but sometimes our brain forgets, especially right now, when we're not in a normal place in our normal school. Okay, now I'm going to do a lap song. In ECFE, we often do lap songs. So you can sit with your mom or dad, you can sit with your baby, you can have them facing you, facing away from you. If you're an older toddler, you can still fit in your mom and dad or grown-ups lap, that's great. Um, or if you're an older toddler or a preschool age child or even older, you could sit and hold a doll or stuffy like this and you can do the song with your toy. And then you can be the big one who lifts them up because we're going to do a lap song called TikTok. Lap, lap songs are really great for building connections, um, looking face to face, looking in your eyes of your child. Or if we're in class, the kids often like to see the other kids and they all laugh and it's so fun. So we're gonna do TikTok, we're gonna be a little clock. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now I'm striking one o'clock. And then we go up, or if you're a big kid, you can jump up. Cuckoo. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now I'm striking two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. One more time. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock, tick tock, tick tock. Now I'm striking three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. That was
was so much fun to sing some of our favorite songs again. Next time I'll come and sing some different songs. We'll make sure we incorporate songs that have leather, songs that have counting. Those are ones we really often do at school, ones that count up or ones that count down. It's so fun singing with you. I like to be able to be with ECFE families even though we're not at school right now. Have a great day.